Okay, this is a quick demonstration of my DIY servo driver. There's the main driver board there with the H bridge on it. And then over here is a uh, hacked up servo, and I just disconnected the motor. Let me point here. Just disconnected the motor leads and hooked them into the input of the H bridge. Uh, over here is a, uh, an RC receiver and over here is our RC transmitter, six channel transmitter. We're on channel one, which is the back and forth over here. And um, this isn't the actual gear motor I'll be using for steering. It's just a stand-in while I'm waiting for the new one. And instead of being powered by 24 volts, we're being powered by my bench power supply, which I'll switch on now. Oh, I have switched on. And that's putting out approximately 16 volts right now. That's as much as it does. So, uh, last thing I have to do here to test this is to hook up, excuse the camera work, hook up the receiver. So, the battery pack here, the 6 volts, is, is powering the receiver and it's also powering the, the, uh, the board on the servo. Uh, since I can't power that, power that off, 16 volts. and. Um, as you'll see immediately, and even here, our motor is very jittery. And I've tried adjusting the potentiometer on the servo to null it out, and that won't work. And I've tried adjusting this little trim tab here for our um, RC transmitter, and that doesn't really work. But uh, the basic function works, so here I am. Uh, I'm going to turn one direction turn the other direction so that works just fine um, so that's great uh, so the only thing uh, that's not too great is this jittery stuff now if this was connected to the linkage of uh, steering on yard gnome which is what it's intended to be um, you know the little jittering there is probably not enough to really move the mass of the uh, of yard gnome but it's still annoying and a waste of energy and a sign that something's not quite right. I tried putting a little capacitor here on the uh, power. Um, the, the lab supply is already pretty well filtered, but uh, obviously this isn't, didn't really seem to do anything. I tried putting the capacitor across the leads of the motor. Also no result. So um, looking for input. Oh, I did notice um, that notice now that my power supply is being pulled down um, to uh, three volts so I don't know if that has something to do with it. The only way I can get the jitter down is if I turn the power way down you'll notice it smooths right out it's still got a little jitter but it's much smoother still works just fine so you know I don't know if that's just you know, the fact that it's jittering still, uh, I was thinking maybe, you know, maybe it's a something that something with the differential in the power between the, the batteries and the and the supply. It's going to be even worse at 24 volts. Um, but it might be that the problem is just the problem and that the uh, higher voltage just shows it w worse. So looking for answers, looking for ideas on what might cause it and any solutions and I'll uh, get this posted.